lovely hanging kickoff. But if it's a lovely high restart there. It's quite interesting how the restarts have sevens become more like set pieces in the modern game. It's changed from very loose kick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Alvin's been there. Wow, that is set piece excellence from Blit. It's a high kick here, contestable for Blitzbox. You look for the tap back, just not quite getting to there. Oh, Ruinal. We start Ruinal's going to try and tap it back here, gets a hand to it. And, and start climbing into those rocks and trying to counter attack. Yeah, I mean, Kenya have been really strong at breakdown, especially against the other teams. So I think if they can get back into that space and make it difficult for Blitzbox to hold on to their ball. Okay, all good so far. Uh, the protocols are extremely good. Um, it's a really good bio bubble. Uh, very positive and a very big thank you to Dr. Lee Gordon, who is the lead medical officer. She's Having a good time playing rugby, we've missed it tremendously. It's fantastic to be back on the pitch. Steph, we're going to get some more information out of you while we have the game under go. Yeah. Between the Blitzbox and Kenya, what we'd like to start off with is just to shed some more light on what is the Seven Solidarity Camp, how does it work, and, and what are we up to here today? Uh, Johan, so uh, with the pandemic, um, uh Lots of cancelled tournaments, uh, World Rugby Approach Rugby Africa and asked would you assist the African teams in preparing for the Olympic Games as well as for the Repichars in Monaco. Um, rugby Africa took uh, uh, this uh, request. to Rugby Africa Exco and Exco said yes it's a really good concept why don't we uh, show solidarity for Africa and get the teams and assist uh, and invest in, this, uh, uh, in their preparation for Olympic repishows and Olympic Games and uh, that's where it all started. Rightly so, thanks for that Stephen. Also a big thank you to all the teams that complies uh, to the strict pr protocols. So, um, Johan, let's just get back. So I've, I've veered off. Just, just, just repeat what what is it? Okay. So, so, so yes. So the three rounds of matches uh, today, and another two, uh, another three rounds tomorrow. Uh, that we are busy putting recording all of this we'll analyze this share the analysis with the teams throughout the week then the, the four teams here are going into camp uh, Monday will be recovery day Tuesday uh, good rugby um, and everything needed to to get the Olympic program started or restarted and the repertoire side for the fantastic opportunity and what a week we've got lined up for these guys they have so much to look forward to and what a fantastic opportunity given the world pandemic you know what a what a um, and some great international rugby to some good international teams here all doing some prep for uh, what's happening going forward and um, I think the level and the quality is going to get better and better throughout the weekend as the teams find their rhythm definitely it's going to be exciting to see how teams adjust to each other it's been a while since they've had a good run at each yeah. other I think the last match on the circuit was Canada
been tough, everybody would have, it would have been difficult, everybody spent so much time apart, but you know that they would have bounced back and been very happy to see each other, and they essentially they just want to play some rugby together. You know? yeah, I'd be extremely calculated, and uh, yeah, I know, I, 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 you know, I think on our analysis of a couple of other teams, we would have found that they had six pinpoint places that they'd kick for a ball. It's just going on your screen from left to right. It's pushing that kick off a little bit, maybe further than Kenya wanted to. This box is a ball in possession, lovely. Skip pass out wide here to the space. Fighting through a couple tackles, breaking through. Two conversions. Expecting this kick to sit up in the wind. It's going to make it really difficult for Kenya to field if they can get up. This box with a good slap back. It out, looking up the opposite end, off to now, middle of the field, step back to the inside. Some lovely footwork there. Just held up the bike against the blitz box. That's now. Little step on the outside and just brought down for Southern David. A lot of great balls. And here's MP, been really strong and physical at the breakdown. Good offload to JC Pretorius. He isn't holding that tackle. He can get up and go. Good offload. That's some really great continuity from Blitzbox early on between uh, MP with the restart. Looks like they're going to switch it up to the other side. Short kickoff is going to just go over the 10. Oh. Referee's happy. He's made it back. So beware is no like it's a knock on. This will be the major challenge for South Africa is the physical encounter. Lovely little boot through, but Try to fend him off, but that's good defense from Davids. He's brought down the bigger man, put on pressure, and now they've got a knock on. So let's box. Pretty quickly to cover Collins. Oh, very well done by Sully. Very, very well done. Some great pressure. A bit of experience shown by him. First half. This is where that game management is going to be really crucial on how to play from, from this part of the game. Skip pass out. Wide to Sevilla, so he's wipey, shake oh. beats one, beats two. Really good feet there, Pretorius over the ball. Ball out for Blitzbox to middle, Gedult. Big pass to Ruan now, carrying it to the outside. Skip out to Impi, beats one, beats two. And through is Impi, I thought he was through to the line, but he's just brought down short. A quick pick up and go from Ruan now around the... So let's see what they do now with possession. It's a lot of stepping back, I'm also finding. Making one, two passes, step back, step back, step back. Uh, often a result of the rush. So the rush comes on, you feel you, you feel a ridiculous amount of pressure, mm. and the only way you feel like you can go is back towards the ruck. So turnover for Blitzbox, cross kick, is anyone on the end of it? And who else but shakes, it's his third one of the day. Bounces off the defender, through another one. Can you roll over and score? Yes. Blitzbox with a good turnover there and another score. Lovely high. Used to. That's a really good catch from Ruan now behind the back, off to Sullivan Davids, stepping out on. The outside beats his defender, he's going to look for support from the inside, hangs it out. To dry, looks like. Miller Duplessis. Duplessis. Fantastic pass there by Solon. On the out and Kenyans flying into the ruck. Branco's brought it back to the short side of the ruck. Looking for Miller Duplessis. He knows he's got a load of gas. Great decision by Miller. He's playing some soccer by himself out there. How is Branco's shoulder still attached to his arms? Uh, if Kenya is to take away anything from this game, they'll know that against good quality opposition, any mistakes are going to be punished, especially on the seventh circuit. Uh, you're going to get a handful of opportunities to play with the ball. When you get those opportunities, you, you need to play. You need to play, you need to make, make them count, capitalize, put some points on the board, because if you don't, like you said, South Africa, South Africa or, or any one of the better teams is going to turn it over, mm. they'll run the length of the field. And even if they don't run that length of field, they're going to tire you out just yeah. because you haven't taken your shot to tire them out.